y'all and welcome to today's video. I have a ton of new makeup to test. My skincare is on. We are looking glowy, but I want to play with some makeup. We have new products from Catrice, Fantasy Cosmetica. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Lippies, some Glam Light. I am so excited to do my makeup. Let's jump into it. <music> back out of my face. I have been testing a new moisturizer. Ilya sent me their new The Base Face Milk Lightweight Moisturizer Barrier Renewal Complex. This is like, do you see? It looks like it's like thin, like the consistency of milk is so sleek, but it's a moisturizer. And let me tell you, my oily skin is loving it. It's not too thick. It gives me this nice hydrated feeling, but it sinks in so fast and I'm enjoying that. I also bought a new sponge, but we do have a new foundation and concealer to test today. So I went ahead and I put on my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It is a primer I know, love, and trust. I always like to start with something that I know I like when I'm gonna be testing a new foundation. So you can see I have some redness on my skin, some like discoloration. Hopefully we can cover that up. We'll use our new sponge, our new complexion products. Okay, Catrice sent me some new products. Some of the things we're gonna to try today were gifted to me. Some of these things I did purchase myself. Everything I talk about, I will list in the description box for y'all. So I'm excited. They sent me their Soft Glam Filter Fluid Glow Booster. They sent me two shades, 040 Medium Tan and 065 Tan. So let's see. This is looking like it should be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. We know so many brands are coming out with their version. That looks, that looks pretty. That looks super pretty. Let me grab a brush and we'll see, or should I just, I don't really like using my fingers, but maybe I can blend a little bit. The Charlotte Tilbury product I have like this, I really like. You can use it on like days where you wanna use a very sheer glowy foundation. And it does set pretty well. I still always use a powder because I do have oily skin. Even though I am 36, I have oily skin. I'm living in a humid climate, so I always set with the powder. But I really like the Charlotte Tilbury. It's super thin. It doesn't have as much coverage as the e.l.f. version, but I love it. This one definitely seems... Oh, that looks pretty, right? So I, I just have my skincare on, which my skincare is making me glowy, but that's looking nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on and this will give us like a pretty setup for our foundation. I'm gonna use my BK Beauty N17. This is the collab they did with Nikki LaRose. If you missed my follow-up review, what are you doing? <laughs> I do videos like this where I'm testing things for the first time, but I always follow up videos after I really have my full review because I don't like to leave y'all at first impressions. That's just helpful, but not the most helpful. And I like to really put products to the test. And these brushes were something that were in my last speed review video and they're so amazing. So here's what it is looking like on the skin. Very glowy, very pretty. It feels very hydrating, but I don't feel too sticky or anything right now. So I'm into that. And I definitely think we'll use this darker shade in a bit, maybe for like a little bronzing, but I need to hydrate my lips before I do anything else. I got the new Strawberry Shortcake Glam Light Berry Jelly Lip Care Set. I love Glam Light. You all know this. I do have an affiliate code with Glam Light. If I have any affiliate codes today, I will pop them up on the screen. <laughs> They're also always in the description box of my videos, but I really enjoyed the Strawberry Shortcake collection that launched 
not last year, maybe the year before, but I loved the palette and the blush and the lip duo. So I was super excited to see them doing a lip care set. So we have the scrub. I really enjoy using lip scrubs from Glamline. I think they're so, they're so nice. I actually already used one last night. I used the Scooby-Doo lip scrub. So I don't need to scrub my lips right now, but I do want to put on a mask. It smells just like strawberry shortcake. Like think of that smell. That is what it smells like. This is the strawberry scented lip mask. That's Look, look at how cute. That's what I want to do. I want to hydrate my lips because who doesn't need lip hydration? I do. I'm just going to get a little bit with my finger and we'll let this set. That way our lips will be nice and hydrated when it's time for our lipstick. I have a new foundation from Catrice. This is the Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It says Shake Well, and I think the shade 65N is going to be great for me. It says, covers like a foundation, feels like a serum. Lightweight, breathable, light to medium coverage. All right, smooth and blur imperfections. So it's one of those dropper bottle foundations and I normally just like put this on the back of my hand or my sponge so that's what we're gonna do or maybe I should do like old school Instagram makeup and like drip it down, <laughs> drip down my face but I'm gonna take my sponge actually like I probably need to squeeze a little more water out see this is why you don't drip it down your face people because then you have to squeeze out your sponge more and you're just not ready Okay, so very, very, very light coverage. Very light coverage with my sponge. But not a bad shade match, yeah? I have a olive undertone. I'm warm leaning olive. And I think that's matching pretty well. What do y'all think? Can you see a difference? Like no foundation, just that glow booster foundation. I think that is really pretty, very, very light coverage, but maybe we should try just a little bit more and see if we can build it up a bit. I, I definitely think that that layered nicely. Like I do have, I do have more coverage there. Okay, Catrice, you are impressing me. Here's what our foundation is looking like. Catrice did send me the shade lighter than this as well. So I think next time I test this, I'm actually gonna mix these two shades together, uh, 6.5N and 4.6N, because I do think this shade will be more like appropriate for me in the summertime. Uh, because like now that I built it up to a more like medium coverage, I do think it's just a smidge deep for me, but we are going to put on concealer. I have the Yenza Super Serum Silk Concealer. This is vitamin C and it's a super blend and medium two is the shade I have. Super Serum Silk Concealer. So I'm still in the process of testing the Yenza foundation. If you missed my last testing new makeup video, I'm not sure yet. I haven't had to, had a chance to like play with it enough that I'm ready to fully review it, but so far I am enjoying it. So I have high hopes for the concealer. I'm just going to put it under one eye for now and blend it in. That way we can kind of see like the coverage, if it does what it's supposed to do, all of that. So I always like to let my concealer warm up on my skin before I blend them. So it's been a couple of minutes and I'm just gonna press this in. This is supposed to be a full coverage concealer and usually when I'm going with more medium coverage foundations or light to medium, I go with concealers that are more medium coverage but I wanted to test this one and see. So here is this blended in versus this side, no concealer. Let me look 
yeah, I definitely think I could go in with just a touch more right here to get it to be a full coverage. I don't necessarily want that right now because like I said, the foundation, the serum foundation is medium. So I'm really liking the way it's looking under the eyes. I think it looks smoothing. It's not grabbing on in any places I don't want it to grab on to. It's not emphasizing anything I don't want to emphasize. Look, that's making me happy. All right, I'm going to do the other eye, put a little in my T-zone to kind of balance things out. Everything is looking so nice so far. So far. I'm definitely glowy, but we are, of course, going to start with a powder. Hello. Did I mention a hundred times that I have oily skin? I'm going to start with the powder. But y'all... The way I have been loving these Say Liquid blushes, it doesn't even make sense. Like, they're so good. This is uh, the Dew Blush in the shade Cutie. Uh, I am like a Say fan. I messaged my sister-in-law because she bought these during the last Sephora sale. And I'm like, oh... Yeah, I get the hype now. I get the hype. I don't know why I slept on these because they're so good. This, I said it's the shade Cutie, right? I will put my shades of things in the description box if I didn't say. I'm pretty sure I did say them. But these Say blushes, I've tried them in a video with y'all before. So I really know that I don't need to go on and on and on and on about these. But man, like you see how easy that blended and these are not, let me think, because I saw several questions like, are these like the Juvia's Place? Are these like the Rare Beauty? No, Juvia's Place and Rare Beauty are very pigmented, which I enjoy and I know a lot of people enjoy, but you, for me, I won't say you, okay? Maybe you, may, but for sure me. <laughs> I have to be very mindful when I use those to use a tiny amount and really blend because they are very pigmented. These are effortless. Like, put it on. If you're like me, maybe you get easily distracted by anything my phone, my kid, whatever. And then you're like, oh gosh, wait, I have to blend my liquid blush. You can blend it. It doesn't matter if you blend it right away. It doesn't matter if you got distracted by Skittles and then you have to blend. It's gonna blend and it's gonna work and it's beautiful. And if you want more, you can build it up a little bit more. Again, the Juvia's Place, the Rare Beauty, I enjoy, but this formula, favorite status. I am loving the way everything looks, but I don't want to use a new setting powder. I actually have a new setting powder that I bought from Beauty Bay, but I'm going to save that, test that on a day where I'm wearing cream products, liquid products underneath that I already know, love, and trust because I want to know if something goes wrong, is it the concealer? or not. You know, I don't want to have to guess. Is it the concealer or the new powder? I'm going to grab a powder that I love. I'm going to set my face down. I'm going to fill in my brows because we have a new palette to play with and I am so looking forward to it. I have the newest collection from Fantasy Cosmetica, y'all. We have the Wizard palette. We have a highlighter palette. This is a new category for Fantasy Cosmetica and I have a fragrance. We'll talk about the fragrance at the end because I have been smelling this. I have worn this several times. I'm super thankful Fantasy Cosmetica sent me this collection. This palette has mattes, multi-chromes, duochrome. It has a matte with holographic sparkle to it. The palette is magnetic. The shades are removable and they're also going to sell the shadows as singles if you prefer that. This is going to be available on February 16th at 9 a.m. 
Pacific. I do have an affiliate code with the brand. If you want to use my code, get a discount, you can use code Heather. I will put that in the description box. You definitely don't have to, but it does work on everything on the Fantasy Cosmetica site. And I want to say, if you ever choose to use my codes, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you just for being here, supporting me by watching my videos. It really means so much to me. I want to create. I woke up this morning like it's a new day. It's a new face of makeup. Let's sparkle. Let's play with color. Let me grab my eyeshadow primer. I just zoomed y'all in and didn't even like follow up that I had filled in my brows. <laughs> Uh, I set my face with my Sigma powder. I also used my Ben Nye Olive powder as like a buffing finishing powder just to like make my complexion products kind of come back to that olive undertone that I need. And I bronzed up with my Give Beauty bronzer because I don't have a new bronzer to test. Although I did order the new REM bronzer. I'm so looking forward to that one, but yeah, I'm like, I zoomed y'all in and I'm like getting ready to prom and I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I should have, maybe I should have told them. Also, I am going to link everything. Like I said, I'll link all that that I talked about in the description box. I also use YouTube shopping. So it's like right underneath me. Listen, if you don't, if you don't care about it, it's fine, but I just want to let you know that it's there if you see that. And then I try to use that on shorts as well. When you're like watching a shorts video, it'll, it'll pop up like as I'm talking about a product. I don't know if that's helpful to you. I hope so. But also like if you don't want to click on links or anything, I do type it out in the description box so that you can see the name and all for yourself. But yeah, I, I've been trying to upload shorts, not to replace my long form videos because y'all know we love to talk here. We love to talk. And I just can't talk enough in 60 seconds. But what I'm uploading on Instagram and TikTok, if I have something that is short enough for YouTube shorts, I try to upload it just as bonus content though, like not in replace of anything. So FYI. Okay. Okay. Let me prime because I want to, I want to play with the palette. I want to keep this more purple matte focused. No, that's the blue one. This one. Okay. I have to like, I'm, I get confused looking in the monitor, the purple, <laughs> the purple shade intellect. So I think we'll start, we'll start here with intellect and then maybe also incantation, the light blue, but I know I kind of want to use that purple in the outer corner and then we'll accentuate with the blue. You, you get me? I, I know you get me. I never start with this eye. I don't know what got into me today. <laughs> and like, does it matter? Yes and no. <laughs> um, I'm priming and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. I'm priming the wrong eye. The wrong eye. I always do my other eye first. Do y'all do things like that? Do you always like start with one thing? I, I don't know. It's silly, but now I feel like a little thrown off. That is such a beautiful blue based deep dark purple. And I'm not gonna worry too much with blending right now. I'm gonna blend more in a second. I want to kind of get my colors, my shades down where I want them so I can visualize what the look is going to be. So I'm just kind of like getting all the shadow off my brush and pressing like so. I want to do kind of a two-toned type of like crease. And, and, and I I hate to even say crease because I got a lot of creases. First of all, I have deep set eyes. So I've got all kinds of like creases here, here, here. But you know, y'all know what I mean. Like the socket, that's what I mean. Then I'm taking that lighter blue 
and putting it here. So I get questions from time to time about these brushes. They're always linked in the description box. I really love these, but I get questions about if they're like painful to hold or uncomfortable because of the like embellishment and no, like not at all, not at all painful or I would not be able to use them <laughs> if it was uncomfortable. So not at all, but I'm just going to like dust that on. Okay, now that I can kind of see both of those shades together, I'm going to blend this deeper shade out, get that how I want it, and I'll just kind of go back and forth, and I'll even go to this brush and kind of like wrap it around and blend. Let's use this shade right here. Uh, What's it? This shade, I can't read. It's like silver metallic. I can't read it. So this shade, it looks like the purpley, blue, black with lots of like holographic shimmer in there. I think we're going to use that. And then maybe this yellow shade right here is really pretty. And then maybe the deep blue matte. I think that is what we'll do. Let me grab the blue matte first. And just get that going on our lower lash line. So you can definitely see here, like, that this is purple and this is blue. I know this is a very blue-based purple, but next to this blue, you can see the difference a lot more. So I picked up the shadow on my brush, and then I did spray my brush with my spray before I put it on my lid to help me minimize fallout. You don't have to, but I wanted to. Oh, oh, it's magic. It's so pretty. Let me, oh, <laughs> let me look at the sparkle. I just love, I love when there's so much like sparkle reflect in a shadow. I think it's so beautiful and it makes me so happy. Okay, if you look from my eye to the mirror, from the mirror to my eye, you can see it looks blue, looks purple. It's my deep set eyes. I can see the shift in person so much, but it can be a little tricky to use a mirror to capture on camera. People are always like, do it from the side, but I'm like, no, like there's a bone there. <laughs> There's a there's a prominent uh, deep set quality to my eyes that don't allow that. So I think you could see in the mirror though. I think you could still see. Oh, I love to sparkle. I love color. Let's put this yellowy shade. <laughs> that was a good choice. Oh, we made a good choice, y'all we did look at that yellowy green like it's yellow right it's green it's yellow it's green i love the way that looks i really chose to use these deep dark mattes on purpose because i wanted to see how good they were and they're good right good good pretty I'm liking these shadows. I'm liking my look so much. Now we are definitely 100% going to do a lash, but I do have a new mascara to try. I have the new Blend Bunny mascara. This is the Lash Perfecting mascara yeah from blend bunny so we're gonna try this first i normally don't love mascaras the first time i use them it takes me a while i like them to be like open a week and then i can really get a feel for it but this is omni lash lash perfecting mascara i really like the component so let, let's try it and i have some new liners hold I have this black gel liner from Moira. What's the official name? 
It is the Statement Gel Liner in black. It says it's waterproof and it twists up and it's a liner. What else do we need to know, right? So let's try this in our waterline. It's definitely black. It's not tugging. I usually do liquid liner on my top lashes, but maybe I should try it. There we go. Maybe I should just go ahead and try it on my upper lashes too and see how it glides. Now it's gonna take me more times than one to let you know how I like this formula. I wanna make sure I'm wearing it when I'm outside, when I'm doing things like is it gonna last? So I will follow up in a future video and a speed reviews or something like that. But first impression, it glide, glided, glided, glid, glided on very well. No tugging, nothing like that. So let's try the mascara and we'll kind of see like side to side how it looks before I put on a lash. The brush is reminding me of like an hourglass shape. And I wanna know, what can this mascara do? So I'm going to apply this and you will see the kind of before and after side by side with mascara without. I have high hopes for this mascara right now. It, it I can tell I'm like, it needs to set. It needs to set, I need to use it a few more times, and then in a week it's gonna thicken a little bit and I'm gonna like it even more. But so far, so good. I'm not like, yeah, it's doing nothing. I can usually kind of tell with the mascara, not if I'm going to love it or not, but I can usually tell like, okay, I'm not gonna hate testing this. I think it's gonna thicken up and I'm gonna enjoy it. So. Keep your eyes out for a speed review of this after it's not brand new. Um, mm, I do want to throw on a little lash though. I think I'm going to use my, no, I know. I've made the decision. I'm going to use my Glam Light Betty Boop lashes because I can't stop, won't stop wearing those lashes. And then we have the highlighter palette to try. I want to talk to you about the perfume. We're going to do Charlotte Tilbury lippies. We've got settings for like, we, we have more to play with. Oh, what a difference a lash makes. Definitely didn't have to do a lash with this look if you prefer not to, but I had to do a lash with this look. It was calling for it. I feel like starry nights on my eyes, which I think goes really great with the wizard theme. I love Fantasy Cosmetica anyways, but this one, could potentially be the fave, the fave palette that they have done because I just, I, I love a deep dark shade. I love dark shades and light shades together creating like drama. So I'm into it. Let me, let, let's try the highlighter palette. I have never had a face product from Fantasy Cosmetica. I've had lip products, perfumes, but I believe this is the first cheek product. This is the Celestial Lights palette and it is a colorful highlighter palette. You can see we've got like, these look intense. We've got a pink with like a very sparkly base. We've got a very light pink and we've got a purple. I love colorful highlighters. They're fun. And for me, I'm trying to have some fun with my makeup. So I love a colorful highlighter. Let me figure out a brush. Let's use this one. Let's use my Singe brush and Dark Star Whirlwind Dancing Lights. Let's do the lighter one first because I have not swatched these. I don't know this formula. We'll start with the lightest shade. I'm just going to That, that is really pigmented. That's, that is really, really pigmented. Okay, let, let, let me swatch. Oh, I mean these, let me, let me try the 
let me get, wipe off my brush on my little switch and let's try the purple one because I love a colorful highlighter. This is too much like pigment for me for what I love in a highlight. So I picked up a little less this time and I am trying to be a little lighter handed, blending a bit more, but it's pretty. It is pretty, but my personal preference is a highlighter that is colorful that is not this pigmented. To me, it's just a little too intense. We'll go in with that center shade. I'm just gonna wipe my brush off on my switch again. And I'll put this down the nose. If you love a highlighter that is very pigmented, this could be for you. I think going forward, I will just store this with my eyeshadow palettes and probably just use it as eyeshadows. Setting spray before we do lips. I have a new setting spray, the Moira Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray, mattifying and long lasting. I've never tried a setting spray from Moira, so let's do a little test. Okay, I always like to test first to see, is it gonna be a fine enough mist for what I like? So I'm gonna pull my hair back. Mm-hmm, it's a very fine mist. I can definitely smell Let's see, what does it have rose in it? Does it have some rose in it? Rose water. I could smell that. But now the smell has gone away. Did it mattify? I don't know. Time will tell with setting sprays, how they do, how they like make the makeup last. But here's our setting spray. Let's do lips. Now, I did it. I bought all the new Charlotte Tilbury pink lipsticks. I bought the two pink lip liners. The third one was like a neon hot pink, I think. You can see I've used this. So I'm gonna line my lips with Icon Baby Lip Cheat Liner. Yeah, I wanna do Icon Baby that goes with it. I don't wanna do a bright pink with this eye look. I wanna do more of like a nude pink. I already know I love these formulas from Charlotte Tilbury, but these are new shades and she gave us the pink packaging, which I love. So I will quickly put this on. Let me find my pencil sharpener. And then I want to show you something else I bought and we'll talk about the Fantasy Cosmetica fragrance. Oh, I love this lip. I love this formula. I'm so happy we have more colors. Like she can keep bringing out more shades. Charlotte, Char keep bringing out more shades because I love the formula. Let's talk about this. Okay, this fragrance, I like this fragrance from Fantasy Cosmetica. I wanna tell you like what they say it is and then I wanna tell you what I noticed the most. So this says lemongrass, citrus, marine notes are the top notes. Then the heart is grass, bamboo, green leaves, lavender. The base is dark musk, cedar, sage, and moss. And when I got this, I was like, oh, that is not what I was expecting. It smells aquatic. It smells very aquatic. You definitely, like, so when I was reading the notes, I was like, oh yeah, marine notes. That's from getting. Like, let me, let me tell you what they say. Uh, yeah, I told you what they said, right? But no, they have a better description. I like when a fragrance description takes me on a journey. They say, laying in the grass, admiring the night sky. It's a grass and wood scent with citrus accents. To me, this is very much like laying in a grassy field underwater. Like if you can breathe underwater and you live in an underwater world, because I get aquatic vibes big time and even when it like wears on me I still get that aquatic scent so if you like aquatic marine type scents you will really like this I do also smell the like sage and musk with it I like it it smells good is it the normal type of scent that I go for no but I am gonna wear it it's very 
I, I, it's, just, it's very aquatic. Like that's just what I keep coming back to. Like if I were in an underwater world, that's what it smells like to me. <laughs> so I do enjoy it. I wanted to give you my opinions, impressions on that fragrance. I have worn it a handful of times now because I do like to test fragrance and really see how does it wear on me. Does it wear well throughout the day? Does it smell differently after 30 minutes? So there's that on that. I, I also, when I placed my Beauty Bay order, I ordered the new sponges and I ordered this. Look, we're not gonna wear this today. <laughs> But I wanted to show you because I have not swatched this yet and I want to swatch it. This is the Shine Slime Made by Mitchell Body Gel Highlighter in Mermaid Scales. And I saw this and I'm like, I need this. We're not far away from being able to wear tank tops and shorts and I'm ready. So I thought maybe we could at least swatch it together. I really want to swatch it when I got the package, but I'm like, no, no, no. Let me wait, let me do it with y'all. I'm going to pump. I like that it has a pump. It is like blue, right? Blue and purple. And there's no like, oh, do you see? Do you see? I know it's not, it's not intense, but like, okay, here's my hand and here's this. So, that's pretty. If there's not like a base color. It's just clear because I was looking online and I'm like, okay, is this going to work on my skin tone or is it going to make me look like this like ash cast because it looks white in the bottle? But like, see how it makes me look glowy? Ugh, it, it looks like it looks wet. Okay, this is actually really what I was hoping for. And then there's like a little bit of sparkle to it that I think is not going to be super noticeable until I'm like moving and it like hits my shoulders and it's like, oh, she is glowing. Is she a mermaid? Okay, that was something small. I just, I was very intrigued and at first I was like, what is that? But then when I saw it on the skin on the model and they looked like wet, I was like, oh, come to mama, come to mama. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't feel like I tested anything that was horrible. Definitely some things that are not for me. Definitely some things that are for me. The palette, beautiful. I like the way my skin is looking. Maybe a little too glowy on the skin. Maybe I will try to use like a mattifying primer next time. But overall, I'm looking forward to wearing this makeup for the rest of my day. I hope whatever you are doing, you're having an amazing day. And I will see you very soon in another video. So don't forget to subscribe. Bye.